Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like my eyes look huge right now. I feel like an actual bug. Um, you may recognize this makeup look, Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Um, I need to take it off my face. And the other day I went to Poundland, love Poundland, love going through the little bargains. And I came across this. One pound skincare. And the thing that gets me is the fact that this is called number six. Sounds like boots number seven. Hmm. But yeah, I thought, I thought we had to give this a go because they've got like, they've got like a full selection. I thought I picked up everything, but it turns out I didn't. I looked online, they've got a night cream, which they didn't have in my local store. And they also have face wipes. I don't really like face wipes. So I'm not too, I'm not too upset that I couldn't pick that up. But yeah, I thought I would just pick up like a nice selection of things. So yeah, literally everything's a quids. And they've got anti-aging serums, we've got an anti-aging eye cream, a anti-aging collagen filler. I don't really know what that is. I, I, I don't know what that's supposed to be in terms of like, if it's like a serum, is it a moisturizer? Don't really know what it is, so I guess we'll find out. And then I've also got a day cream, uh, some anti-aging collagen, coll can't speak, anti-aging collagen hydrogel eye patches. I am buzzing about these, cause like these things usually, they're not the cheapest thing in the world and you get four pairs in here. And then we've got a sheet mask. You guys know how I feel about sheet masks. I love them. And then we also have, it's not part of the number six range. Oh, there's also my cellar water. And then I have another mask, which isn't a part of the number six range, but it was chill in there. So I thought I would give it a go. This is the kale face mask. It says beautifully scrumptious, all hail for kale, kale face mask. Super vegans, that's cool. And then I also have the number six, my cellar cleansing water. So yeah, let's let's try this out. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. A little bit nervous um, because as soon as I asked you guys on Twitter if you want me to do this video, a few of you were like, I'm praying for your skin. Um, but you know, YOLO, YOLO. So let's get this off my face and get this stuff on. All right, okay, we're doing this. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it all looks pretty good. It's all nice packaging and it's got stuff like, it's got vitamin E, chamomile, aloe vera, uh, it's got hyaluronic acid. Like I'm not saying it's gonna have like the best ingredients in the world, but looking through it, I mean, I don't understand everything. It doesn't look too bad. Seems like a fair amount of fillers, but like it doesn't really seem to be like any alcohol or anything in it. Like the cleansing water says it's fragrance free and alcohol free, which is good. Like normally if it was like a cheaper brand, you'd kind of expect there to be a decent amount of alcohol in there, but that's good. That's very good. So it says it removes makeup in one step using tiny micelles. Um, da, 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 da. No harsh chemicals, it leaves your skin feeling soft, nourished and hydrated. Okay, so I guess we're gonna start with this. I normally, like I couldn't see any other type of cleanser in Poundland, so I'm not sure if this is like the only cleanser that they do. When I'm cleansing, I usually tend to use some sort of like oil or balm or something. So it's gonna be a little bit weird, like just using this as my cleanser for today. I'm not sure how my skin's gonna love that because my face is caked right now, um, but we're gonna do it. So it is currently actually the evening as well, by the way. So I'm gonna be trying this out uh, and trying out all these other things. And I'm gonna check back with you guys in the morning, maybe even like in a couple of days or something, and we'll see how my skin is actually looking. Um, hope there's no breakouts or anything, but um, yeah, let's just, let's try this out. I feel like, I feel like I'm just procrastinating at the moment. Let's do it. So it's, okay, yeah, it literally doesn't have any smell, which is good. I should probably take off my lashes. Okay, right, so I'm gonna first of all, just take some on a cotton pad and I'm gonna pop that over my eyeball. Uh, just leave it there for a sec. Just leave it there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like dripping down my top right now. That's fine. Okay. And then I'm gonna sweep it away. Oh, it's stinging. I thought it was like a cooling sensation, but nah, that's just stinging. It's taken off my eye makeup very well. Like you can literally see like the circle here, but right up around my eyes, like on my waterline and everything, and I barely even touched that yet. It's stinging. It's not, it's not painful, it's not awful, but I'd rather not I'd rather my, I'd rather my like makeup remover didn't sting my eyes, uh, unless I just haven't read it, because let's face it, I haven't. Avoid contact with eyes, make or stinging. Well, it tells you not to do it. I mean, I can't really argue with that. It does, but it also does take off your makeup around your eyes quite well. Um, so, I mean, I've already kind of committed, so I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna just roll with it, maybe. Hopefully I actually, ooh, that one stings quite a bit actually, okay. <sighs> let's just take off the rest of this, just while I'm here. I feel like I just need to like, let's just get it over and done with. It's taking the eye makeup off well though. Right, I'm gonna take a little bit more, just on another cotton pad. I mean, the stinging does go pretty quickly. It's kind of like, it doesn't sting when it's on your eyes, but it's as you kind of like take it away, then it kind of starts to sting a little bit. It's not like, it's not painful. It's more of just like a feeling that you're not used to when your eyes just kind of just like, that's not really supposed to happen with your eyes, I don't think, um, but it's not awful. So like if you're wearing a pinch, this does work. It actually works quite well because I had quite a lot of makeup on my eyes there. Um, let's take off my lipstick. Easy. Right, let's just go do a little once over here. Another one, another one. Take off the rest of my face makeup. I actually might have to do a little cleanse in a minute because, or at least like some eye makeup removal or something because it's not taking off everything. That's got a little, that, that, one, that one was a bit of a stinger. Yeah, I'd probably say don't use this around your eyes. Like how the bottle tells you to, but if you're anything like me, you won't read the bottle until after you've done it. Um, so if you are considering getting this and you're not the sort of person that reads the bottle, um, yeah, probably wouldn't recommend it for your eyes if you have to do it. If it's like life or death situation, you have to take off your makeup. It does work. It's not that bad, um, but yeah. It's fine for your face though. It's taken off my face makeup really quite well, actually. Like, I, had a, I had a lot of makeup on my face then, but it's kind of taken off the majority of it there. Oh, but it is stinging my little eyeballs though. I mean, it, it feels fine on my face. It really does. I'm having no issues with it on my face at all. It doesn't sting, even like, got a spot there. Even over spots, it doesn't sting. It's just your eyes. So do as you're told and don't put it in your eyes. Okay, actually, no, I'm lying. Oh, wait, my lips are tingling a bit right now. Interesting. Like right around the outside, they're kind of tingling a little bit. Yeah, now my, now my face is tingling. It's almost like I've actually gotten down to my skin now. Like there was that much foundation on my face that now I've actually gotten down to my skin and it's like getting in there and it's just like, no, 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 no. Again, it's not like awful. I'm not like, holy shit, get this off my face. It just kind of feels like when you use like really, really cheap face wipes and you get that kind of like stinging feeling like that, it just feels like that. So it does work. It actually does work really, really quite well. It just doesn't feel that nice. So I can't imagine it's like that amazing for your skin if it's making you, oh, my lips feel really tight now. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God, it only just dawned on me that what if I like, I'm allergic to any of this stuff. Yeah, I can't imagine it'll be that good for you if it's making my face feel like this. But again, if you were in a pinch, if you really need something to take off your makeup, it's worked. I just feel like my face is kind of on fire. I might actually go and wash my face. Yeah, I'm gonna do it because I still need to take off the rest of this eye makeup and my eyes are stinging right now. Uh, yeah, be right back. Um, I actually feel like I kind of need to wash this off or something because my face has gone really tight and it feels like my lips are swelling up. See you in a minute. All right, I'm back and I don't know if you guys can see, but this stuff has just like killed off my eyeballs. Like my eyes are so red. It literally looks like I've been crying. And like, I know I can get a bit over emotional sometimes, but like, I promise I'm not crying. But yeah, um, on second thoughts, I maybe wouldn't say this is good in a pinch. You know what, Pan, I'm sorry, I gotta go with your sexier older sister. Gotta go with some Garnier in my cellar water and maybe that'll be able to do something. Soothe me. So yeah, I would probably give that a miss to be honest. If you're in a pinch, it, it works. But um, I, Cannot recommend this because look at the state of me. All right, so now let's try out this mask. So this, like I said, was the Kale face mask. Oh, hail for Kale, woo. So again, just like everything else in this video, this is a quid. It's got two lids. What a great deal. Buy one face mask, get a free lid. Brilliant. That smells like, I like the smell, but I like weird smells. What is it? That's not, that's not Kale. It smells like hairspray. It smells like, Bang on to hairspray. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put my little ears on. If I can get it with this bun. Now, I mean business. <sighs> yeah, see? Don't I look like I mean business? Yes, my ears still swollen, leave me alone. Let's put this hairspray smelling Play-Doh looking cream on my face. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna apply it with a brush, English. Um, oh, my, my skin's already just like, <gasps> 
It's like, please don't put more on me. Sorry, skin. We got some reviews to make. It literally just smells like, like hairspray. Like looking at it in the shop, I was thinking to myself like, this is gonna be a really nice nourishing kind of mask. Whereas it just feels like I'm putting, I don't know, like hair removal cream all over my face. Can't say this is the most relaxing mask I've ever done. Da, 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 da. Beautiful. All right, so what do the instructions say? I've already like made a mess of them. How long to leave it on for? A generous layer, is that generous enough? Do I need more? Is that generous or is that, I guess I'm gonna add a little bit more. I feel like that's not overly generous. I feel like that's just like, I don't know, quite stingy really. Yeah, like that's a bit better. Yeah. All right, so I guess as the lovely packet told me to, I'm just gonna sit back and relax now for the next like 10 minutes or so. Um, and then I'll probably rinse it off and then I'll check back with you guys in a second and we can see what it's done to my face. If I still have one left. Oh, I just got some in my hair. All right, that's better, kind of. My face feels like a little bit worse. It's not that bad, but like it just feels a bit stripped and a bit like, I don't know, kind of preferred how it felt before, to be honest. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Like it hasn't necessarily like harmed my skin or anything like that. But yeah, right now on like a first impression, it just feels a bit crap. All right, so now I'm gonna try and check a little bit more hydration back into this face. So I'm gonna move on to, they all look the same. Uh, the Derma Serum, the eye cream and the collagen filler. So this is the thing that's confusing me. It says our illuminating anti-aging filler specifically formulated for skin, already showing vis visible signs of aging, reduces signs of wrinkles and furrows. Well, I physically can't frown because of my Botox. So I don't think I have to worry about wrinkles there. But hey, I'll give it a go. So I think what I'm gonna do is start off with the serum and then I'll put some of the collagen filler like, I don't know, I'll try and find some kind of like line on my face and fill it in. And we'll see how it works that way, maybe. Either way, I'm going in with this guy first. So let's rip it up. That's very small. It's tiny. It's like a little lip balm or something. Although I guess for a quid, you can't really complain. So this is, there's 15 mil of the serum there. Which actually I guess isn't that bad. I feel like a lot of high-end brands do like 30 mil of serum or something and they just put it in that big chunky container. So I'm gonna take, let's do like a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and that. It's quite a thick serum. It actually kind of feels like, more like a moisturizer. Oh. It's got a slightly weird smell to it. I feel like it smells a little bit like milk. It smells like milk. I mean, whatever, whatever works, but you know, it smells like dusty milk, but not too bad. Like hasn't like visibly done much to my skin. It sank in really, really quickly. It doesn't like feel like heavy on my skin or anything like that. I mean, serums are like one of those things that you kind of reap the benefits. Like after a while, you don't get like a constant sign that it's working or not. But I mean, it says it contains jojoba oil, vitamin A, C and E, rice water, lily extract and rice milk. Maybe that's why it smells of milk. It's probably why it smells of milk. But yeah, like, this is fine. It's just whether or not it will like, you know, like work in the long run. Yeah, sorry. Right. I mean, for one pound especially, like I don't really have anything bad to say about this. Don't necessarily have anything amazing to say about it, but we're good. Oh, my eyes though, man, they are still killing me. Okay, so now I'm gonna try out this collagen filler thing. So this says it's got hyaluronic acid, shea butter and algae extract. Just dawned on me that the font actually used on the packaging is like identical to number seven. Anyway, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. I feel like I have seen like a number seven product like this. I think it's not like one of the most famous ones. So what does this even feel like to begin with? Feels just kind of like kind of like a moisturizer. I was almost expecting it to kind of feel like a pore filling primer or something, I don't know why. Again, that doesn't really seem to smell. Doesn't smell like milk either, which is good. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna like, where have I got, I'm gonna do here. I don't know if that's necessarily like a fine, fine line. Can I put it on under my eyes? Let's try like here maybe. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really have any wrinkles to begin with. So I don't know there's necessarily I'll try a little bit under my eye just to see if it works. But I'm just thinking like, can I re-review this properly? Cause I don't really have any like lines to fill in. Let's try it under the eyes. I'm probably gonna regret this. My poor eyes right now are like, please stop. I guess I'm just gonna like tap it in. Uh, I mean, they look exactly the same. So what is it that you do? Does it fight the visible signs instantly? Surely not. I mean, 
they're definitely still exactly the same. But obviously, again, it's something that will, like, hopefully kind of work the more you use it. Again, like the serum, sank in easy. I had, like, no problems with it. Didn't sting or anything. I guess it's just something I'm gonna have to keep trying. Yeah, again, no real issues. Can't say I love it. Can't say I even really like it. But it's not awful. Okay, so now, I didn't think I was gonna be that excited about this product, but now, like, after putting like, all these, like, things on my skin that aren't really, like, adding moisture, I'm actually very, very excited about this. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Very, very simple. It's got a little cap as well, which I know sounds a bit crazy, but obviously, like, in shops like Poundland, you tend to find people do, like, open things up and try them out a little bit. So, yeah, obviously, if you see the lid covering it, you'll know that, like, no one's tampered with it or opened it up or anything. No one can tamper with it or open it up because no one can get in it. How, what the hell are they stuck this down with? It's, like, fused to the pot. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's strong. That smells like... Kind of smells like head and shoulders. It's nice, but I feel a bit weird about putting this on my face because it just kind of feels like, to me, with the smells and probably the texture and the color, just kind of looks like I'm putting shampoo on my face. I just take a little bit on the back of my hand. I mean, it feels quite nice on like first application. That feels all right. Let's go in with some of that. I'm gonna add quite a bit because I feel like I need moisture on my face. Yeah, it really does smell like shampoo, but it does feel decent. It's like, it's got a nice slip to it. It's not just like sinking into nothingness. Like I like moisturizers that feel rich on my skin, not like those kind of gel ones that disappear. It is quite a heavy cream. Like it is one of those creams that you are gonna feel on your skin. And I imagine you will feel it on your skin for quite a while, which I mean, obviously I only managed to get the day cream. So like, I'm wondering how like rich maybe the night cream would be. Cause this seems quite, it seems a lot more like night creamy than day cream to me, but my skin does feel better from it. And I feel like because it is quite a rich cream. It also just makes you look very, very glowy. I mean, again, I don't know how amazing the ingredients are gonna be, but as far as I'm concerned, like, this is actually decent. Like, my skin feels good. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eye cream. So again, same kind of tube. You have to really make sure, like, with all your tubes lined up, you have to make sure that, like, you don't put your serum under your eyes or your eye cream, like, around your wrinkles. God, could you imagine? It'd be awful. It'd be hell up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on the tip of my finger, kind of like half a pea-sized amount. Uh, I'm gonna tap that into my eyeballs. My poor, poor little eyeballs. I literally look, I look like I haven't slept in like weeks and my eyes are just like closing. I'm just tapping that in. Again, it's sunk in fine. It feels fine. I, it actually feels very, very cooling under my eye. Like just then I just started feeling it. It feels quite cooling. That doesn't feel half bad. All right, lads, now let's move on to these eye patches. I'm very, very excited to try these because like, even if they don't necessarily do anything like overly skincare-y, like just the hydrogel patches on their own really kind of like cool my eyes down, like my under eyes and everything. So I'm really excited about these. So this is what they look like. Um, nice and like vacuum pack there. Little, little jelly beans. Rip them open, this little tray. Oh God, I think I took it out the wrong way. Well, maybe not. Well, they got stuck in there. Okay. Why do all of these smells smell so familiar to me? Okay, come on, little bean. Okay, so this is what they look like. Does I remember when I had that um, sheet mask printing machine thing? This is what that looks like. So I'm gonna put one under my eye. Instantly, they feel good. Regardless of whether they actually do anything like anti-aging or whatever. Like these feel good, especially after like this, like this is what I need after that micellar water. Oh, that's better. Because it's like cooling my eyes down now. So this says on the packet to leave them on for 20 to 30 minutes. I got things to do. Okay, I'm gonna leave these on for around 20 minutes or so, and then I'll check back with you in a second. Okay, Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's not been 20 minutes. It's been around like probably less than five. My, my under eyes are really stinging. Again, right now. Um, I don't know if it's, these things, or if it's like the fact that my eyes are maybe feeling a little bit shitty from that micellar water, maybe a little bit like stripped back or something, and then these are kind of reacting with that. That doesn't make any sense, does it? All I know is that, yeah, it went from feeling very, very nice and cooling to now like tiny little needles under my eyes. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna take them off. I feel like that has lifted my eye area up a little bit though. I feel like I look a little bit more awake now, probably because my under eyes are being attacked from the inside out. 
Um, I will try these out again. I'll try these out like once I've gotten back into like my usual skincare routine because I am thinking maybe like it's just the micellar water or something that's stripped my under eyes and that's why it's not happy with these. Um, so I will try these out again because in reality, I don't really feel like they can do too much damage to you. Although I am the one sitting here with like burning under eyes. But yeah, I'll try them out another day and then I'll pull back. So last but not least, and I feel like I've been saying this a lot, so like, I don't know if this is gonna jinx it. I was gonna say this is one of the things that I was the most excited for, but it seems like the majority of things that I've been really excited for haven't worked out well for me. So yeah, I don't wanna jinx it with this one. So I was really excited for this. So this is the anti-aging collagen woven mask sheet. Um, it's a sheet mask, basically. It's a quid. Um, and yeah, I just, I love trying out sheet masks, so. This kind of thing excites me. All right, now I've seen a lot of sheet masks in my time. So I'm gonna do like the full on inspection. The sheet itself seems to be quite soft. So that's what it looks like. Beautiful, stunning. Okay, so I think I literally just apply that this for a second. It smells like pleasant. Um, how do I actually like get this off that thing? Oh, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it, son. I feel like Damien off of Mean Girls. Where it's got that piece of ham on his face. You know? I feel like that's me. You guys all seen that video of that guy like putting on a sheet mask in like the most satisfying way. He puts it on like perfectly. Jesus Christ, how close do you think my eyes are together? I mean, the mask feels soft. It feels really, really soft actually. Like I've, again, I've tried like a lot of different sheet masks. Like some of them sometimes can feel like a little bit scratchy, but this feels really, really soft. So I am impressed by that. I don't know why the little eye hole, it's like it's made for like a kid's face or something. Like I got a pretty small face and I feel like I'm just like, eh. So now how long do I leave this thing on for? 15 to 20 minutes. I feel like all I'm doing this video is just sitting around. Right, see you in 15. Okay, so it's been around 15 or 20 minutes. My face feels all right. I feel like around the corners of my eyes, it feels like a little bit stingy and also like on my top lip. But maybe that's just because the mask has like fully slipped down into my mouth pretty much. Um, but everything else, like, it feels very, very cooling still, which is quite nice. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. It hasn't dried out either, which is cool. Oh, it's a very, very wet sheet mask, which I actually don't mind because sometimes I find you can take off a sheet mask and there's like nothing there and you kind of think, well, why did I have that thing on my face for like 20 minutes? This one, you can kind of see there's some stuff on your face. I'm actually curious, like, what kind of liquid it is. It just kind of looks like a serum. I'm just gonna press that into my skin. It's very wet, very, very wet. Just grab my little towel here. I actually feel like I need to kind of like wipe my face up or something. Yeah, I just feel like I need to blot that down a little bit. But yeah, that was all right. I can't really say anything bad about that. It like, again, I feel like it, it is just down to like that micellar water on my eyes. I think that like screwed me right from the beginning. beginning. Before my actual face, my skin feels decent. I think if you want to try out a sheet mask, if you don't want to go around and spend like a couple of quid, because I know how expensive some of them can be, I think it's a nice little sheet mask to try out. Don't know if again, it necessarily does anything crazy to your skin, but my skin feels pretty good right now. I think if I follow up with a little bit of moisturizer, I'll be sorted. In fact, let's do just that. Imagine if I wake up tomorrow after using this and my skin is like the best it's ever been. But also, imagine me waking up tomorrow after using all this stuff and I have no skin left. It's fine as long as I get a good little video out of it. Okay, so that's it for me, my little skincare routine for right now. My eyes feel a lot more settled now. They don't feel as stingy. What was it like, nearly an hour later? Um, they feel, they feel okay. I think my skin right now looks all right. In terms of how it feels, it does feel like I have got quite a bit of something on. Um, it's more so the fact that my skin feels very like tacky, like listen to this. It's like very kind of sticky which I'm not fully sure about. But yeah, that looks okay. It doesn't necessarily feel amazing. Um, and who knows what it actually will do to my skin. But for right now, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't feel too bad now that the burning eyes has like subsided. Um, but yeah, it, it, it looks all right. I'm not saying I'm about to ditch all of my usual skincare products and use just Poundland skincare anytime soon. But yeah, for like a seven or eight pound skincare routine, I think that's done all right so far. So now, it's three in the morning, I'm knackered, if you couldn't tell. I'm gonna go to bed, and then we'll see how my skin's looking in the morning. Although, 
Let, let's say late morning, because realistically I'm going to have a bit of a lion after this, because it's, it's nearly four in the morning. Either way, I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, so it is now the next day. All I've done is put the moisturizer on my face, and it feels all right. It doesn't feel amazing, but again, like... I mean, I'm comparing this to like creams that cost literally like 30 times the amount as to what that stuff did. Um, it feels fine. I don't feel like it's necessarily going to benefit my skin in too many ways. I feel like it's just going to kind of keep my skin looking all right for the time being. Um, I haven't had any like reactions or anything to it. Obviously, my eyes did get red after using the micellar water and everything. So I'd maybe stay away from that. Other than that, though, like I can't really complain about it because it is so cheap and because it didn't really necessarily do anything bad to my skin, but it didn't really do anything good to my skin either. So yeah, I can't really recommend it, but it's also like for a quid, it's not bad. <laughs> so tired, I literally just woke up and came down to film this. So yeah, I guess you could say I am pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be using this like in my everyday skincare routine. I might keep a few bits, like I might hold on to the moisturizer. I'm not necessarily sure how often I'll use them, but I mean, it won't hurt to hold on to them. So yeah, I was surprised in the sense that it wasn't awful. It really wasn't awful. The micellar water did sting quite a bit, to be honest, but like it, it got my makeup off, but then it, then it did sting my face, so, which isn't ideal. I don't know, is it worth the money? 100%, I think it's actually really good for the money because obviously it is like a quid. Uh, micellar water, I would maybe try and spend a little tiny bit extra just to get a slightly better one. And by slightly better, I mean one that won't burn your retinas off. But yeah, I mean like moisturizers, serums, like I said, don't know if they're gonna benefit your skin that much, but I don't feel like they're necessarily gonna harm your skin either. And for quids, I don't think that's too bad. So guys, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to try out from Poundland or any other like really affordable shops because I am down to do that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up as always and subscribe if you want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I might actually go back to bed because I am shattered. Um, but apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one right after my nap. Bye.